Number 20. How did the naked Jew kill the Gestapo? I don't know, Anne Frank. How? Oh my God, that's holy way... shit! Beep <laughs> beep. Question of the day for people on YouTube: Are you yet? Are you now yet getting notifications? We 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 tried to send an email out to the people at the YouTubes, and uh, some people still aren't getting notifications. If you aren't bookmarked, join Mug Club, please. Uh, okay, news of the day. <sighs> Is 100% a true story. Go to the BBC. We have the links up to the website. Dirty jokes apparently have now been discovered in the hidden pages of <laughs> Anne Frank's diary. <laughs> the direct quote. How did this beat out the, the other BBC, story? two new pages from Anne Frank's diary have been published containing a handful of dirty jokes and her thoughts on sex. The hidden pages have been covered with gummed brown paper apparently to hide her risque writing from her family. <laughs> true story, which brings us to this week's 7 plus 1. Forgot to in the chamber. Uh, only w l slight change. It's not seven plus one. Like we said, we sat down <laughs> yeah. to write out a meat seven segment. Times three plus it was me, not gay Jared, <laughs> Owen, Benjamin, and then we just said, "I we have like we have like forty and Frank, dirty and Frank jokes." Ghost gun with extended mag. That's about it. Yeah. And not the Sun computer had some too, right? Yeah. Beep, beep. All right. Good. Okay. So uh, these are the seven plus one, tw twenty-five, whatever it is, uh, uh, dirty and Frank jokes that we have from. From Anne Frank's diary that they've discovered now. It's like the Dead Sea Scrolls of Ooh, dirty jokes. Nice. So, Sven Computer, actually, I think this is, you know, this this is something you should probably lead us off with because it's probably closer to how sure. Anne Frank sounded. Uh, <laughs> set us off. So. Number one. Number one. Why did Hitler never release a sex tape? Oh. Yeah. No one wants to watch him masturbate. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Want to go on? Yeah, read out the number. Don't forget okay. your computer. <laughs> number two. Why is beep Adolf beep? Hitler I'll do it for you, son of a. This is not a good start. Number two. <laughs> Number two. Beep beep. Why is Hitler always constipated? I'm After not. he created the SS, all the assholes were taken. <laughs> <laughs> beep beep. All right. All right. That Anne Frank. Who knows? Number three. Number three from beep Anne beep. Frank. I'll I'll go back to you, Sven. How can how can you tell an SS from a Polak? One is dumb, mocked, and generally useless. The other is a Polak. <laughs> Number four, knock knock. Who's there? Hitler. How did you find me? Anne Frank in the attic, people. <laughs> <laughs> this is written from Anne Frank's point of view. Don't forget, it's very important for the consistency of the character. Why did I come in? Let's have. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, you should have stayed home today. I think the kid ended up getting run over by a car. We gone and bought more Ugh. shiny shirts. All right, Nakay okay, Jared, you're up. All right. Uh, why did the SS cross the road? Hmm. So you could be a total asshole on somewhere new. <laughs> there you go. You got to do the German voice. Everyone has to do German. That's oh, the real. Okay, so Sven, let's take us back to where it all started. Number six, beep beep. Yeah. How many Hitlers does it take to change a light bulb? Three, one to change a light bulb, and two to hold his hand steady from the tremors caused by meth and Parkinson's. <laughs> <laughs> It's almost shocking that Anne Frank at this point could have known that information. Yes, very, very much ahead of It almost seems as though she, she was a clairvoyant. <laughs> Again, the dirty, the dirty jokes found in uh, Anne Frank's diary. And yes, he did wear a shiny shirt. I don't know what it is. It's like, it's, yeah, what is that? <laughs> did you just go to the Liberace rack? The man your who choice? had to dress comfortably. He goes in and says, yes, uh, I would like to spend a lot of money and have uh, an air of je ne sais behind the candelabra, sir. <laughs> we have an entire That's what I'm going dressed in for. shiny stuff and he gets nothing but right. love. Number seven. How many SS does it take to screw in a light bulb? Seven SS, says Anne Frank. One to screw in the light bulb and six to blame the failure of their own light bulb shortcomings on the Jews. <laughs> Can confirm, beep beep. That is a full-time <laughs> job, yes. In <laughs> All right, now good, let's try this again. All right, uh, where are we at? Which one? Number eight. Number eight. And Frank, and Frank's diary. Number eight. All right, all right. Why did the S second SS cross <laughs> the road? Let's do it. Come on, get your all punchline right. right. Why did the second SS cross the road? Second. I couldn't SS. hear you. It sounded like you said seca. Why did I was the like, second like prosecco? I can't do accents to save my life. Okay. Why did normal. the second? Okay, I just want to make sure because it's, it's the second SS cross the road. I don't know why. Because he was stuck inside the Frenchman. <laughs> <laughs> It was good. I just didn't understand it. <laughs> because he was stuck inside the Frenchman. There which brings to number nine. <laughs> Why nine. did the Frenchman switch from red wine to white wine? Because a German told him to. And then the German f***ed <laughs> his wife. <laughs> this is Anne Frank. A oh, little bit angsty. Come little on. A little bit angsty, teenage Anne Frank. Oh, my God. All right, Sven Computer. Let's bring us up uh, to the next one here. All right, beep, beep. Number ten. Yeah. Why do Gestapo not get raped in hell? I don't know, Anne Frank. 
Because there are none of God's chosen people there to f*** them. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> they might not be the show oh, for you. Oh gosh! Yeah, this, yeah. It was a good it, ride, fellas. Discovery and Frank's diary, dirty jokes. It's up at BBC. It is a true story. It, it's a genre. There's been no fabrication here. Number eleven, a Gestapo dies, yeah, and goes to the gates of heaven. So is a man at the gate with a book of names. The Gestapo approaches him and asks, "Angelic figure, I have carried out the Lord's work." Was it? Oh, uh, this is a long setup. May I enter this gate? <laughs> The man says, please tell me your name, and I will see if you may enter. The Gestapo gives him his name as he searches the book. Ah, says the bearded man, here you are. I see you did a lot with your time on Earth. I can grant you your request. He smiles as the SS man walks towards the gates of heaven, all ready to meet, him, uh, meet the afterlife in Jubilee. Once he arrives at the gate, however, they remain shut. Confused, the Gestapo turns back and says, what gives? The man at the gates answers, oh, gate. I thought you said rape. <laughs> And Frank needs to edit some yeah, of that, that's, So much yeah, time for some, so little payoff, Anne. Yeah. And Frank, if you can hear us, whittle down the setup. I love you. Um, <laughs> Jeez. Keep it short. All right. The time is precious, too. Not gay, Jared. Let's give you your uh, number 12 here. Number 12. How many Frenchmen does it take to screw in a light bulb? I don't know, Anne Frank. 15 million. They all surrendered immediately, and the light bulb remained unchanged. F***ing cowards. Oh, gosh. That almost seems like she just wrote that. That was <laughs> her inner monologue. That's not Indian, too, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not good. I tried to do too many things right here. It's awful. Number 13. A lucky number. Why don't Nazis and the Irish have children? For they'd be too drunk to commit genocide. <laughs> number 14. Why did the German get in trouble with the tax man? Sven Computer, what's what? Why? Um, beep, beep. Because he gassed all the accountants. That one almost, <laughs> that doesn't seem like Anne Frank would laugh no. at that. No, no that's a little bit that too beneath her. Yeah. What's, it, what's number, uh, what's number uh, 15, Sun Computer? Number 15, beep beep. Did you hear about the Nazi who helped the old lady cross the road? No, Anne Frank. Me neither. They're all dicks. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, Anne Frank sometimes knew how to zag when you expected wow. her to zig. Wow. Like I said, this is the bulk of today's show. We just sat down and just couldn't get enough Anne Frank jokes. Owen, Owen, thank you, brother. We appreciate yes. this one's for this you. Happens. Appreciate it. Um, all right, Sun Computer, let's give you number. Let's give you this next one. Might as well. You're number doing sixteen. One. Yeah. Beep, beep. What's the difference between a porcupine and German occupation? Beep, beep. I don't know. What is Anne Frank? With a porcupine, the pricks are on the outside. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I, I, I almost want to ask Fenrir. Let me have you read uh, number seventeen. Then we'll. All right, number 17, beep beep. What's the difference between a Jewish and a Nazi accountant? I don't know, Anne Frank. You're getting some rough territory here. Yeah. Let's see. One balances your books. The other burns them. <laughs> like, that's ever accomplished anything. All right, Sven Computer. For computer, <laughs> you, you, you didn't compute that one properly. All right, not gay, Jared. Uh, I think you have number, uh, number 18 out of 20, 24. Uh, why did the Nazi... Why did the Nazi fail driver Z? No, say it. Say it did, like Anne Frank! Why did the Nazi fail driver Z? Why? Oh, he got into the character. Daniel they lose that. <laughs> Why? I don't know. Even because he used a turn signal on two left turns, but failed on the third right. Okay. Ah, <laughs> there's a dad joke. <laughs> Number 19. <laughs> beep, beep. A priest, a Jew, and a Nazi walk into a bar. By the end of the night, the priest leaves with an altar boy, the Nazi leaves with a Frenchman's wife, and the Jew leaves with the Lord's blessing, <laughs> which we already had anyway. So... You Nazis. <laughs> this is reading from Anne Frank's diary. Here we have it. You can see the parchment. Yeah, yeah. She yeah. had some anger. Send issues. your letters had to some Anne. Anger yeah. issues. Send your letters to Anne. All right. All thought she was nice. Uh, all right. You know what? Let's uh, ger German accent. Let's go uh, at G Morgan Jr. Give it your best oh, shot. Oh, good lord. Read out the number the, from Anne number Frank's twenty. <laughs> number twenty. How did the naked Jew kill the Gestapo? I don't know, Anne Frank. How? Oh my God! That's holy oh shit! God. Beep beep! No, Gerald. no, that's. Let's, oh, can we fix wait, that in that, post? That's that that's that's not a, a not joke funny. at the expense of Nazis. That's it was on the that's list. That's just a dark summary of the Holocaust. But it was on the list. It's not on the list. It's, it's not on the list at the all. The History Channel doesn't talk about that. They'd rather can not. We all, do can history. we all? Can we all confirm that <laughs> Gerald that added up. that and went it's completely on the rogue? Screen. Everyone, hands up. Hello, it's on the screen. I uh, just uh, don't don't hold us responsible. Number twenty-one. <laughs> How many Nazis does it take to screw in a light bulb? Just one, but it's not a light bulb. It's Zyklon B. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Time out. You you have to. They're cans. You twist them. Yes. Yes. Exactly. All right. Number backside. Number tw number twenty two. 
How do you drown a stupid Gestapo? Tell them there's still a Jew alive at the bottom of the lake. <laughs> Thank you, Anne Frank, for years of joy. All right, and Sven Computer, take us out with <laughs> oh the final gosh. joke from Anne Frank's diary, the dirty course, joke, according beep. to BBC. Yes. Number 23, beep beep. How can you tell a Gestapo from a smelly, hot, festering pile of sh**? The corn. If you like the video, subscribe. Watch one of these other videos or hit the notification bell. Well, you should hit that if you subscribe anyways because subscriptions don't mean anything on YouTube anymore. Now you have to hit notifications so that it shows up in your inbox. So I don't know why you subscribe in the first place, but that's what you have to do. Also, we're not making money off these videos anymore because YouTube decided why. They, they just said we're not going to. And when we said why, they didn't tell us why exactly. Imagine if you showed up to your job, you did all your work, and then they said, hey, by the way, we're not going to pay you. You said why? They said, piss off!